Hello everybody from Kiram Gaming Community. How are you guys doing today? I thought I would just share just a quick video on key binding. So if you do play Farming Simulator 22 and you want the key bindings from that version of the game, uh, it is possible to bring it over to Farming Simulator 25. So this will help you if you have any special keyboard shortcut set up on your keyboard. Maybe you have a gaming mouse and you have certain buttons on the mouse set to different actions in Farming Simulator. Or maybe you have a full-on uh, simulator set up with maybe different joysticks, a steering column. Maybe a side tech uh, side panel, or maybe you are really good at being an electrician and you know how to make your own button box. Uh, this might actually save you some time, especially if you spend hours going about uh, setting up different types of keybinds in the game. So, to get started, you would have to open up your Farming Simulator 22 uh, directory. So that's usually under My Games and Farming Simulator 2022. 20, For me, it's under Documents, so C Drive Documents, but you may have some other type of directory set up. So just go to the directory where you can find the Farming Simulator 2022 directory and you'll be just fine. You'll want to do the same thing for Farming Simulator 2025. Chances are it is probably in the same directory path as Farming Simulator 2022, which is My Games, so Documents My Games, Farming Simulator 2025. <clears throat> now, if you're concerned about file issues and stuff like that, maybe breaking the game or something like that, uh, what you can do is go into 2025, highlight input binding uh, .xml, uh, and copy it. So you can right-click, choose copy. Or you can do... Control C and then you just paste it somewhere, save it somewhere else uh, that works best for you. That way, if you do make a, an error or something goes wrong with the with the loading of the game, uh, you can just basically drag it back into here and well, nothing nothing will have gone wrong, right? So uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, so once you've got that file backed up, you can save it on the desktop. Uh, what you would want to do is go back to Farming Simulator 2022, select the input binding XML from there, hit copy, and then go back to 2025, right click, and then choose paste, and then it will uh, basically put it in there uh, for you. Launch the game, check it out, um, and see if it works for you. If it doesn't work, uh, just go ahead and put the original input binding file back into the 2025 folder, uh, and you should be good to go. Uh, alternatively, you can also do a full reinstall of the game too. That should fix things up as well. So when 2025 came out, this was the first thing that I did before getting into any serious game play because I just wanted to make sure that it would work without any problems and seemed to work for me. Um, as for bindings and controls, um, I have a Logitech or SciTech heavy equipment bundle side panel that was programmed with FS22. I've also got two Thrustmaster M1600s, uh, which is another brand name, right? 
and I've got a Logitech mouse, and I've got a Logitech steering column with pedals. Uh, all of my key bindings from FS22 was able to make it over without a problem, and everything seemed to be working perfectly fine. So, with the original buttons. Mind you, I do have some buttons programmed for some uh, add-ons or uh, mods, but of course, course play and auto drive are not available on uh, FS22 quite yet, so um, I'll have to tackle that when uh, that situation arrives. So hopefully you find this video helpful and it might save you some time uh, if uh, uh, whenever you come to uh, setting things up. So we'll see you in the next one. Remember to like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.